Yo guys, KB and today we are doing a Elgato Game Catcher HD60 review. We are going to be going through the setup and what comes in the box and what you need for it. Hope you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe and let's get on with the video. So, moving on to the video, this is the box the Elgato actually comes in. It's a very small, thin box that is about 30 centimeters, maybe a bit smaller, uh, tall and very thin, about an inch thin. So it comes with this shell on the outside which you can easily um, grasp out the actual inside box and here's just the shell, the outside shell which is a game catch HD 60, 60 meaning 60 FPS as YouTube does actually allow that now and on the front it's just a picture of the software on the laptop. So with this you get, you get obviously the Elgato which you pay most of your money for, this retails for around a hundred a hundred pounds to 120 if you get it on um sales it'll be good but um that is the the out um what i was gonna say the in, out input and that's the input so the output sorry so um yeah that is it and th this is just the box it comes with cables as well which i don't actually have in there but this is just a few of the things that come with it it shows you out the out HDMI in USB and the audio which I don't actually use for the audio and that's the website where you download the software and there's just a few of their social links I will leave the link to the software and their website in the description but here are the cables that are gonna happen what you're gonna need for this setup so first one you get given a hdmi cable you will need to have another one but i'm pretty sure you definitely get one with the xbox and you definitely get one with the ps and also you get this usb cable you get a mini usb with a usb 2.0 but this is the setup now guys and this is how it all goes down so with the elgato you get the output site and then you plug your HDMI cable in, the, either the one with um, you got with it or your PS1. I'm using my PS1. It doesn't matter which way round it is, but you plug the end of that one into your Xbox or your PlayStation or whatever console you use. I'm pretty sure it only works on PS and uh, Xbox, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that one. But next, you move on to the input side which you actually get uh, the other HDMI cable so I'm using the one that we actually got with the Elgato and you plug it into that and then you get the other end and plug it into your monitor or your TV which you obviously will use to look through so basically just a massive HDMI cable with obviously the Elgato in the middle of it which is a very decent they're very decent purchase. It is the best on the market, by the way. A lot of people use other ones, but this is the mini USB and the USB, which you plug into the mini USB on the Elgato, and then with the other USB, you plug into the back of your laptop, computer, netbook, Mac, whatever. And um, yeah, this was this is a very good product, by the way, boys, boys and girls. And um, yeah, it's one of the best on the market if not the best so this is coming to the end of the video now guys hope you leave a like subscribe and stick around for many more videos and see you next time peace